Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Daybreak Nuzlocke Let's Play. We are back once again on the beach, training up the squad for the flying type gym. And you can see I still have a lot of training to do. So I'm gonna just hit the grind right away. But if you guys are enjoying this series, hit that like button down below and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and we are throwing down against another gym today. I'm gonna be running back and forth for the next hour training my team up. So I'll see you when I'm done training or if anything crazy happens in the middle. And Storm is officially evolving into an electric, which is very, very nice. And we are one step closer to a very powerful Electros. And he wants to learn Crunch, which honestly isn't bad. We'll pick that up over Tackle here. And I'm gonna go heal, but we are getting very close now. Uh, gotta get a couple more Pokemon, some big levels. I might actually swap Tank off just to train some other Pokemon too, but we're getting very close, guys. And Megatron is also evolving into an Aggron, baby. A G G Ron. Good game. It's over. This guy's powerful. Has a four times resistance to those flying type attacks. He's gonna be amazing. I'm really excited about that. And there he is in all his glory. Still has Sturdy as well, which I think could be really, really clutch in the upcoming gym. Having two Pokemon with Sturdy, obviously Lasagna having Sturdy as well. Being able to set up those uh, Stealth Rocks. Team starting to shape up here. We're almost there on the training. Just a few more levels. And Nexus is also evolving. I decided to box a few Pokemon to train up some of the other members of the team since we had a few guys already at the 46-ish mark. So we're training up some other members, but we're getting very close, guys. A few more levels here. And I've been waiting for Storm to get to 44 because he learned Thunderbolt at 44. And now we have an Electros. And I did take a little deviation to go and pick up some different TMs. I actually got some really good stuff. This game gives you some great stuff. I picked up Toxic as a TM, which is amazing. Picked up Stealth Rock a couple times. My controller is glitching out like crazy. Um, so we got Stealth Rock. We've got a bunch of good stuff. U-Turn, Poison Jab. I have Volt Switch, which I can give uh, to Storm, which I think is going to be really powerful uh, for this upcoming battle. And I do want to find out what its hidden power is as well. I don't really think it's going to be anything good, but we'll check it out. I also picked up Flamethrower for him. Uh, let me see what his hidden power is first, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so whatever his hidden power is, it's not super effective against ground. It's not very effective against ground, which tells me that it's probably... Um, I don't know what it is, but it's not ice. Uh, whatever it is, it's not ice. Okay, so it's not very effective against Mianfu either, which tells me that it's most likely hidden power rock, which isn't actually all that terrible, to be honest. And Lasagna actually learned Shell Smash, which could make him a really big threat with Shell Smash and Sturdy. It gives me the opportunity to essentially smash whenever I want and uh, and then be able to potentially sweep. So I may change my strategy. I was able to get the Stealth Rock TM. So we may give Megatron Stealth Rock and then keep Crustle in the back as a potential sweeping option in the gym and in the future. So we might restructure things a little bit for the gym, but I think we have a really good strategy. And of course, as I'm talking, Next is picking up Play Rough. Always a big win on the Fairy and Water type. Azumarill with huge power. Very, very strong contender. All right, it's time to show you guys the new and improved team for the upcoming gym. I'm actually really stoked. We've got Storm holding the Lucky Egg. I'll probably swap that for a Magnet. He's got Levitate, of course, and he's got Volt Switch, Hidden Power, Rock, I'm pretty sure. Thunderbolt and Flamethrower. Lasagna, the Crustle Baby with Hard Stone to boost the power of those Rock type moves. Sturdy is great. Rock Slide, Stealth Rock, X Scissor, and Shell Smash. We've got Darwin, and Darwin is the biggest glow up of all time in this episode. Eviolite boosts his defenses, which is crazy. He's got Toxic, Snarl, Baby Doll Eyes, and Protect. I love it. I love it. I love it. Huge wins for us. Megatron holding the Lucky Egg. I'll probably give him a different item when we get to the Gym Leader, but that extra XP is really nice. Iron Head, Rock Slide, Earthquake, Stealth Rock. As I had mentioned, we're going to run a second Stealth Rocker. Tank with the Razor Claw. Love this guy. Always critically hits and deals massive damage with Sniper. Focus Energy, Psy Beam, Ice Beam, and Surf. And then last but not least is the Juggernaut holding the Wide Lens so he doesn't miss. He's got Solid Rock to take less damage from super effective hits. And he fires off Stone Edge, Earthquake, Drill Run, and Hammer Arms. Very, very powerful. That is your squad. Let's head to the gym. Get some few lo more levels there and take on the Gym Leader. Oh, Dante's here! A-Drive! Hey again, it's been a while. Let me show you how much I've improved. Okay, well I am not prepared for this because I have a team for the flying type gym. So, let's see how this goes. He's gonna kick things off with Shellgun, which I guess is okay. I could just Volt Switch out, and that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna Volt Switch out, and I'll go into something else. Uh, what do I wanna do against Shellgun? I, I think Megatron would be okay, or I can go Tank. 
I don't know what he would use. A dragon move potentially. I could just ice beam though. So I'm thinking I go into tank here and just ice beam. He's gonna dragon claw. That does a lot, um, but I should be able to ice beam here. And I do just knock out Shogun. We have the level advantage for sure. Here comes a Hitmon Lee, which is kind of tricky for my team if I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my team actually kind of gets wrecked against Hitmon Lee. So that's a thing. Um, I want, I feel like I go into Lasagna. He's gonna go for close combat, which is good. He's gonna drop his defenses. I actually live the hit, which is good. I think I want to actually heal here and see what he wants to do. He may go for a rock type move. He does go for rock slide. Okay, he does a lot. It was a crit though. And I can, I can in theory live another one. So I think I want to X scissor here. He's gonna close combat again. Oh, I lived on seven. Big X scissor. And I get a crit and knock out the him only. This is kind of a tough battle because I don't have my normal team. A Gardevoir. I think I gotta go Megatron here. Yeah, I don't have my normal team. So let's go Megatron. He's gonna Moonblast. That does a lot. I'm gonna Iron Head. He's gonna Moonblast again. So that uh, he's gotta be Specs. That's doing way too much. He's, oh, he's Sash. Okay. I'm gonna Lemonade. Do I have Hyper Potion? No, I have to Lemonade. Lemonade's my best thing. I need to go buy Hyper Potions as well. I don't think I have anything to take hits otherwise. Psychic. Oh boy. I'm gonna use my last, oh I use, no, I wanna use my last Lemonade. Heal all the way to full and then attack again. Moonblast. His team is so good against Darwin, otherwise I would just go into Darwin. Here's another Moonblast. That thing is really strong. I know Megatron is physically defensive, not specially defensive, but that thing's really strong. And a superior. Superior I can deal with a little bit better. I think I just go Darwin and go for the toxic. He's gonna revive, oh boy. All right, I think my play is just toxic. He's gonna energy ball. I don't know who he revived, but this could be really bad. All right, let's do that. I'm gonna protect. He's gonna glare, try to paralyze me. Okay, I probably want something else to get paralyzed. Uh, I could go storm. I don't want Storm to be paralyzed. I probably need Storm at full health, actually. What are the chances this thing has contrary? Probably pretty high, yeah. I mean, Storm is definitely the best thing to bring in here. I think I gotta go Storm. He's gonna glare, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna Flamethrower. He's leftovers, I just, I'm just really nervous. I'm gonna Flamethrower. It depends on who we revived. I didn't even do that much. Um. I could take one more, but I think my better play is just going into Darwin here. And he's gonna energy ball again, that's fine. We take that pretty well. He does get a special defense drop though, but Toxic is gonna finish him off. So who did you revive, dude? Hitmon, Hitmon Lee is who he revived. Okay, that's like the hardest thing for me to deal with. Um, I think I have to sack something, to be honest. I can protect for one turn. I think the play here is I, I need to sack something and then I go Juggernaut and then Juggernaut can Earthquake. He can take, take one close combat, hopefully, and Earthquake. I think that's my play. I don't have any potions. So, oh boy. After all that grinding I did, I gotta sack somebody and I think I sack Lasagna. I don't think there's anything else I can do about it. Cause I'm gonna take a huge fighting type move here or I sack tank, but then I won't have a good water type and I like tank. I think it's lasagna, man. Dude, not how I wanted this to go. I have to trust. I have to also trust here that Juggernaut can live. I think he can. I'm gonna earthquake. I think he lives this. Yeah, he. he I could have taken two, dude. I didn't know that. I didn't know I was gonna take two. He's so bulky. Well, that's a bummer. We lose a Pokemon right before the gym. So he's headed to Aerodon Town, and now I'm down Amon, which is a really big bummer. Um, dude, revive mid-battle is so rough. Well, Lasagna, I'm sorry, buddy. I really am. I was excited for you, too. I was really excited for Lasagna. Goodbye, my friend. And now I gotta figure out who my last member of the team is. I don't have anyone even close to trained up. 
Um, so I think what I do is I think I'm gonna grab 07 and see how high of a level I can get 07 in the gym just from giving him a lucky egg and just kind of having him on the team. Uh, who else is holding a lucky egg? I think it's Juggernaut actually. Oh no, he's got the wide lens. I think it's Megatron then. Yeah, so he's a little bit behind, but hopefully we can train him up through the gym. All right, well, here's the gym. So, oh boy, is this all double battles too? Because that's a problem. Um, I guess I use Storm and Juggernaut. I hope this gym is in double battles. Let's find out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe it's not double battles. Okay. All right, well, it is flying types. Here's a Fero. We're fine. I can just Thunderbolt it. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay against a lot of these trainers. I trained a lot to make sure I wasn't gonna get wrecked. A, a Gabite? What are you doing with a Gabite, dog? That's that's not a flying type. He's gonna Dragon Claw me. I do have Ice Beam. No crits? Okay, good. Oh, I need to buy Hyper Potions or whatever. I'm gonna leave and heal after this. And here's an Amolga, which is actually a good test for Storm because I did want to see if we are indeed Hidden Power Rock. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure we are. I'm pretty sure we're Hidden Power Rock. Yeah, we are. Okay, so we're Hidden Power Rock Storm, which is great. So if the gym leader has an Amolga like this, I have a way to hit it super effectively because I can't hit it with Electrocyte moves because it might have Motor Drive. So I guess that's good. If you beat me, ask for part of the password. Oh, I got to get these passwords. But like I said, I'm going to beat this trainer and then a Flygon. What are we doing right now? Um, I think I go tank and try to Ice Beam him. This might not be a flying type gym. This might be a flying theme gym, which makes me feel better about the team that I have. This is gonna hurt. Oh my God, he crit me too. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. And a Chandelure, what are we doing with this team? Chandelure is ridiculous. Flame burst. Oh my gosh, he's gonna take sandstorm damage. I'll go for Snarl here. He's gonna Confuse Ray. Darwin is a machine now because of Snarl. I mean, that's so good. Now his special attack is dropped. I should be able to kind of deal with anything the Chandelure wants to do. But like, what are we doing here? This isn't flying types. Oh, he crits me. Okay, I got the Snarl off. I, I'm, I'm very perplexed right now. I'll take the level though. Oh my goodness. The password is a compound word. Wing and then what? Tip, wing tip. I gotta type it in, wing tip. Oh, I gotta do caps. It worked! Sweet. Oh god, there's more trainers. Do I have to battle all of them? If you beat me, ask for part of the password. Oh, okay. If I beat you, I'll beat you. A Gyarados! This gym is scary, dude. This is gonna hurt. And he flinches me. Okay, he didn't flinch me twice at least. Oh my gosh. And a Braviari. Um, I think I could easily go Juggernaut here. I think Juggernaut will be okay. He's gonna slash, that's fine. And I do have Stone Edge and the Wide Lens, so I don't miss. Nice. 88% accurate Stone Edge is better than 80. <laughs> Maybe not worth, but I, I feel like it's nice that I won't miss as much. If you beat me, ask for part of the password. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta battle all of y'all, don't I? All right, and you have a Giggle- Oh God, another one of these. This is Rock and Ghost. All right, we're gonna go Darwin. I feel like Darwin is the play. He's gonna Ancient Power, no boosts. Okay, I can actually just Snarl. We know he's got Levitate. That does zero. And at least I'm reducing the power of his Ancient Power, so we should be able to beat him. He's very bulky. I wonder if this, this form of Gigalith has his special defense reversed with his physical defense. And he's like specially defensive and specially offensive. Cause he is taking no damage from this. Like, that is doing nothing. I mean, it's it is it's a it's an Umbreon, right? We're not expecting a ton of offensive output here, but jeez. All right, well at least we beat him, and we've got a Staraptor, which is lovely. The good news is Juggernaut is so good because even if he has close combat, which he's gonna just go for, it shouldn't do that much. Yeah, I mean, I, I should have been a little smarter with the Hit Moan Lee, but the problem with that battle against Dante and the Hit Moan Lee is, let's say I don't like, let's say I switch into Juggernaut, right? because I felt like Juggernaut could always live one close combat in that situation. Let's say I switch into Juggernaut, and then the Hitmon Lee ends up um, critting me or whatever and two-shotting me, then I actually just get swept by Hitmon Lee, because I had used all three potions at that point. So 
Kind of just is what it is. Let's put 07 in the front and battle this next trainer. If you beat me, ask part of the password. Yes, yes, I will indeed. All right, what do you have? You have a Tropius? I have no idea what this thing's gonna do. Um, I have zero clue what this Tropius wants to do. I kind of want to stay in, but I also think, honestly, I should just go Storm. He's gonna Air Slash. Okay, I had no idea if he was gonna be physical or special, bro. I can't, I can't keep up with this. Tropius could be both. He could, he could be physical, he could be special. That's the downside. Here comes Pelipper coming in? I mean, that's fine. I can just Volt Switch. He's gonna stockpile. This should one-shot still. This is a four-time super effective hit. Yeah, okay, good. And we can just go back and I was, oh, I misclicked. That's okay. I meant to go 07, but that's fine. Here comes Tropius again. Uh, I'll just Snarl. Drop his special attack. He's gonna air slash me. I'm faster. He's got rain up, but again, I just do that. I wonder if he's got something to take advantage of the rain. Drodagon, not really. Um, I'm gonna go 07, because Drodagon's usually physical. He's gonna revenge. And I'm gonna go for counter and see what happens. He's gonna Night Slash. Oof. Does he have rough ro Rocky Helmet? Okay, we're good. Woo! Alrighty. <laughs> I'm gonna go and heal and then we'll come back and keep going. Okay, so Ariel was the correct answer for that one. And I think this is Heart. Yeah, I don't know how to open the other one, but I think I got it right. If you beat me, ask for part of the pa- Oh, I need the other half. Okay, that explains it. Archeops. One's got to assume he's physical. Crunch. 07! He had Rocky Helmet. That's kind of annoying. And a Hodge. Oh, God. I hope he doesn't have Pursuit, because if he does, I am a dead dude. Woo! No Pursuit. <laughs> that almost got real bad. He's Mrs. Swagger. I'm going to hit a big stone edge and knock out this Hodge Crow. 07 doing it, baby! Let me get some 07s. If you're watching at this point of the video, I want you to leave a comment in the comment section below with 07. Just 07. Just fill up this comment section with 07. All right, the first half is a three letter word for what we breathe. Earhart? Oh, I think it's Earhart. Hey, I got it. If you beat me, I'll tell you the password. Yes, I, I see. I see this now. And you have an Aerodactyl. He's gonna go for Crunch, so I'm just gonna counter. I'm starting to catch on here. Goodbye, Rocky Helmet again? Stop with that! And Talon Flame. He's gonna go for a physical move too. Oh. Goodbye, 07! Oh, I'm gonna go heal. <laughs> I think the gym leader's next. The password is Altaria. Altaria. Oh, there is the gym leader next. Okay, so let's tweak a few things here, right? Because we really don't need lucky eggs on things. My team is a very high level now as well. Um, I'm gonna give you, I think I give you the magnet or the expert belt. I think either one is fine. Maybe expert belt is probably better, unless I just gave that to somebody. Yeah, I'll give you the magnet because I know I picked that up somewhere. All right, this is not gonna be an easy battle, but we do have Megatron to set up Stealth Rock. And then I think the rest of the team is looking solid, man. I really like this team and we're very, very leveled at this point. So I gotta believe we got a good shot at this. I knew you could make it here. I wanna see this fighter spirit myself. I, Captain Helena, officially accept your challenge. Let us begin. All right, here's another gym leader, baby. The flying type master, gym leader Helena. And she's kicking things off with Skarmory. So she's gonna try to set up hazards herself, I think. I'm just gonna click Stealth Rock. There's the spike. That's gonna be annoying, but I do get my rocks up and I'm gonna just immediately go in a storm before these hazards get too out of control for me. Yeah, they're gonna be really bad. I can already tell. Um, that's frustrating. Okay. Um, I think the play here is I just stay in and, and Thunderbolt. He's gonna quick claw toxic me. Lovely. He probably has sturdy too. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna flamethrower in case it switches. Quick claw spikes. He's got three layers of spikes up. This is not how I wanted this battle to start. This is rough. And an Altaria comes out right away. Okay. I'm gonna Volt Switch it. And it's Mega Altaria level 47. Gonna just straight roost on the first turn. This is okay. Dragon Fairy. Okay, here's the thing. The play for me is, is Megatron, right? Because Megatron comes in here and he can go for a big Iron Head and hit it super effectively. But Altaria oftentimes carries Earthquake. 
I think I just have to chance it. Because if he's... He's gonna be really strong. He's got Dragon Pulse! I can take one. Big Iron Head, super effective. <sighs> Not enough. Not enough. But what I can do is I can use my first potion of the battle on Megatron. Heal up here. And he's gonna Dragon Pulse again. And we take that. And I can Iron Head again. I can take another Dragon Pulse. Yes! I beat the Mega Altaria, let's go! Okay. Gyarados. Okay, my Gyarados answer is actually Storm. Which makes this a little tricky. I'm very nervous this thing is gonna try to set up on me, I'm gonna be honest. So I think my play is actually to go Darwin here. Probably wants to go for Waterfall. I don't think Storm can just come in on that. So I think the play is actually to go Darwin here. Because if he Dragon Dance, I can Baby Doll Eyes. He get an Earthquake. Okay. So I, I should have switched out, but that's okay. I'm going to go for Toxic, I think. It's going to Waterfall. I don't get flinched. I do get a Toxic off. And I can use my second potion in the battle. I'm going to Protect first, though, and hope he doesn't Dragon Dance. Good. He Earthquakes. And he'll take some Toxic damage. Now I'm going to use my second potion, a Hyper Potion. He'll all the way up. And then we have Baby Doll Eyes as an option here. To weaken this Gyarados and ultimately make it so he really can't do a ton to us. So let's baby doll eyes. Drop his attack stat. Okay, he's going to take a little bit of extra damage there. And now I can actually go for protect. And he's going to waterfall. Doesn't work. He's going to take extra toxic damage. And then I can actually baby doll eyes in case he heals. Drop his stats again. And now he's going to die to toxic. Okay, that's three dead. One left. And it's a Charizard. Okay. Um, he's level 45. I think Tank is the play here. I mean, Juggernaut can obviously come in, but he's going to have some really powerful attacks. So I think the play is you just play the type advantage to go Tank. He's going to revive. Okay. Well, I do have Surf. He's got Solar Beam, but it's two turns, so I think we're okay. Yes. We are okay. And who did he save? Gyarados. But Gyarados is very weakened right now. I actually can just Ice Beam and knock him out, I think. I should live in Earthquake. Tank, baby! We beat the gym. Let's get it. Down to the ground. We earned the Ether Badge. So I'll be honest. I trained this gym to 45, 46 um, in preparation for about that. We ended up getting a few extra levels while we were battling the gym. But honestly, I think if I was underleveled, I would have gotten wrecked. So I'll take it. We do beat the gym. You can see we, we we actually struggled a little bit there. A couple Pokemon almost died, but we did hang in there and ultimately beat Helena. How poisoned am I? I'm okay. We can get out of here. And uh, take down our next gym. So I will take the win. Very happy about that. And I'm going to go heal up and we'll see what's next for us. So I made one small tweet to the team. I brought Batwoman back on the team and I'm actually going to keep everyone else the same. I really like this team that we have. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep everyone else the same right now. And, uh, you know, give the lucky egg to these guys. Make sure they can get a little extra XP because they need to catch up. And uh, otherwise, I'm going to rock with this team. I think this is a really good team. We have some great types. Our team is very slow outside of Batwoman. But I really like the combination of 07 and Darwin minus the, the bug weakness, which Batwoman helps with. Um, and Juggernaut helps with. And then I have, you know, super effective hits on Tank and Storm. I, I think this team is super cool. Some of y'all had mentioned that there was a Meteorite in the power plant that I never extracted from and I just got the Oreite as well so we can actually get that as a potential um, serum for Eevee or Darwin at this point but I'll be real it's really hard for me to justify evolving Darwin right now because I think this thing is straight busted the set that we have so again hard for me to justify it but we do have that as an option and I can go to where is it I think it's Zeph Town to have Professor North extract the serum. If you have anything you need me to analyze, find me. Well, I did find you and you, you seemingly don't care. I don't remember where I have to go for the uh, ore, but I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments. All right, so it seems as though my journey actually takes me back into Siakosa Pass. I just went and grabbed some uh, super po or super repels so I can kind of get through this a little faster. And we now have strength, which I just taught to our big juggernaut so I can kind of advance in this uh, in this area. So we've got some trainers, presumably. Yeah, we're gonna have to navigate this mountain, which is just, just gonna be super splendid. And he's got a golem. Um, I mean, I should be okay to beat all these trainers. Hopefully he doesn't just blow up on me. He's gonna stealth route. We should be okay. I'll uh, we'll just surf. Goodbye, golem. See you later. 
And Batman wants to learn Venishock, but I'll pass on that. And here comes a Noibat. I can just Ice Beam that. Yeah, we have really strong levels right now, so I should be able to get through all of this. In fact, it might not even be the worst idea for me to grab. The XP share is making things a lot better for me. Maybe swap a Pokemon off my team to train someone else up. But I think we'll be okay. Hold it, hold it. I mean, I'm here, bro. What am I holding for? Black Bell Daniel's got a Pawniard. I can't really do anything to Pawniard, so I do have to switch. Um, we could just go Storm, though. Flamethrower is pretty solid here. Assurance, we'll just Flamethrower. Should probably give him Expert Belt. He's got Magnet right now, but I think Expert Belt would probably be better. And I'm a champ. I'll just Volt Switch. Oh, he's faster. Okay. Well, Volt Switch out, and then we just go into Batwoman. Again, trying to get Batwoman some levels to catch up to the rest of the team. Flash and deal the damp. He's got no guard. <laughs> I was like, how did he hit me? No guard, but champ. That's how. Hello there. What do you have, buddy? What are you doing, Psychic? Psychic Reese has a Kofagrigus. Um, I guess I could just try to poison him. I didn't get the poison. He's gonna Shadow Ball me. Yeah, I don't know if this is a fight that I want to stay in on. Um, probably just go Darwin and just Starl. Because the worst thing he can do to me is Will-O-Wisp, generally. So we'll just Snarl, weaken him. Yeah, that's good damage. Like I said, worst case, he just, he curses, actually. Okay, this is a family-friendly channel there, buddy, but all right, you do you. And a Dusclops. Um, I think I could just brute force this Dusclops with probably Tank. He's gonna confuse, right? I'm gonna focus energy and then Surf, I think. Let's see. Yep, easy. He's gonna burn me, but again, we're a special attacker and we're gonna crit. So we can just Surf and not hit ourselves in confusion. And he's gonna curse me too, okay. Uh, I have to switch. It's a good thing he didn't mean look first. Um, Storm should be okay here. He's 50%, so Thunderbolt's gonna do a good amount. Ooh, Hex. That could have gotten dicey a little bit there. We're good though, we're good. Yeah. And we've got a lot of this cave to explore. Uh, this is gonna be a long journey here, guys. A rock incense. I'm gonna go back and heal, and then I think that's actually what we're gonna do to wrap up this episode. We're gonna go through this huge cave in the next couple routes to explore on the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this one, hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Thank you guys for all the support. Let me see those 07s for our Wobbuffet. And that's gonna be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drop, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.